welcome back to my channel so in today's video like I promised you last week I am talking about these beautiful decorative clay pots it's actually not just about the clay pots but I wanted to show you guys what I'm doing with some of my orchids and I'm very excited because I think it looks really pretty when I have them planted inside these clay pots they're decorative I put them under my patio or bring them outside and they look so nice and so pretty now these um, clay pots I purchased at a nurse at a nursery uh, nearby. Unfortunately, they do not ship. Uh, but you know I, I've seen something similar to these like at Home Goods or at um, Home Depot or at Lowe's, which will also work out fine. I mean I'm just showing you these because these are the ones that I got uh, this past weekend, and I just wanted to go over just you know what I'm doing, like I always do. In these clay pots, I have. And Cidium Sherry Baby here on my left. I have a Grammatophyllum here in the middle and I have a Vanda on my right. Now the Insidium, it's in bloom so I have not potted it yet. And the Vanda, I had it potted at the nursery but today I am gonna pot the Grammatophyllum just so you can take a look at it and see what I've done. So I'm gonna start off with the Vanda and the Vanda, this one right here, it was actually done at the nursery. So I can't show you step by step how I did it. They did not let me take my camera in there and I'm not allowed to film in there uh, except for the little footage that I'm going to show you now in a minute and what I've done in my previous shopping videos which I do it you know when I go really quick. So this is the look that I love and that I'm going for. I love how they place their vandas over these clay pots and the, and the roots just intertwine. I think it looks gorgeous. A vanda can actually live in here for about three to four years before you have to repot her. So I brought it home, it was already done, uh, but I just wanted to show you really quick. I chose a smaller pot because it's not very top heavy like my Grammatophyllum. For the Vandas, if it comes in a little plastic um, little basket, you just slip the basket right in. As long as it's big enough to hold the little basket, you're good. You just tie everything up and make sure everything is nice and secure and that the actual um, plant is standing straight up. Actually, my Mimi Palmer. I chose to do the Mimi Palmer because she smells amazing and I just want to have her close by you know I don't want I don't want her to have her hanging you know everywhere anyway in the smaller pot I have my Ancidium Sherry Baby and she is just a blooming sensation this plant has bloomed for me almost for three months straight so I cannot pot her yet so right now she's still in her clear pot all right, so I'm gonna be repotting one of these Grammatophyllums. I know that they double in size really quickly, uh, but at least I'll be able to enjoy her inside these clay pots for about two years before it gets um, you know, too big for the pot. I am gonna do this one, which is the, the variety Gold Nugget, which is gorgeous. And I chose her because her colors are different than the other four that I own. So I'm gonna try to take her out of this pot and I ended up having to cut the pot because she is so tight in there. So here you go. I'm gonna probably have to remove that pseudobulb soon too because it's a little bit mushy. Uh, but these chromatophyllums have doubled in size since I purchased them. It's crazy how much they grow. Uh, but I'm excited to see the finished product. I'm excited to see her rebloom inside of here. She has such pretty, pretty flowers. All right, so I'm basically just going to slip this right in. It fits perfectly. Look at that, it's like a perfect fit. And I will go over with a tie wrap through the top. Now with the tie wraps that I'm using, it becomes it becomes very secure. So basically what you do is that you look for the little holes and you just tie it up and you bring the tie wrap over the, over the plant. Now I am going to, let's see, let me take her out really quick so I can just uh, secure it on one side and I'll show you. So you see how it has little holes. So these little holes are actually very convenient because I can just, you know, bring up with a little tie wrap and just kind of tie it over. And then I will do that several times until I feel like my my orchid and um, the actual plant is very secure. You know, I, I love these clay pots for that reason. They're so heavy. So you put the plant in there and you don't, you know, you feel like it's secure. It's not gonna wobble everywhere. It's not gonna, it's not gonna fall. Like, you know, like 
they fall like they did in my last video how I dropped one uh, so so that's it it's a pretty simple process now to fertilize them it's also very simple I'll use a slow release and I'll just put the slow release over it if not I'll use um yeah I'm gonna do a slow release for this one I'll just put the, the, the little pellets over it and then I'll go over it you know a few times with a tie wrap so that's it it's on I just have to do one more tie wrap and we are finished Okay, it was a very simple simple project and at the same time you have beautiful pots you have beautiful orchids and and new blooms hopefully coming soon and that's it guys this is today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it i'm sorry that these actually the same clay pots unless you go and pick them up at the nursery you can't get them but hopefully you'll find something at other nurseries and if i do find other other clay pots other places i will definitely make a video and show you guys and that's it. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope everyone has a wonderful week and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.